na nas apply the Gauss-Jordan elimination in solving for this linear system. In short, our goal is to reach the um, reduced row echelon form of the equivalent augmented uh, matrix for this linear system, which will help us solve for the unknowns. By the way, if you have not checked the rest of the previous videos, we have already applied the Gaussian elimination for this linear system. And we also have the results of that from last time. What we need to do here is to use the same row echelon form. By the way, if you would like to check for that, there are separate videos for that previously. Let's apply the same um, row echelon form after the Gaussian elimination. And let's also present the uh, results to the variables x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 on the previous uh, process using the Gaussian elimination. And we will apply the Gauss-Jordan elimination here or the second phase, the backward phase. And let's see if the results under the Gaussian elimination on the previous video and for this video, the Gauss-Jordan elimination would be the same. By the way, again, um, I might not present here the uh, what do you call this one the augmented matrix for this given linear system but i'll be presenting here the row echelon form from the previous video from the previous video the row echelon form is one one two eight zero one negative five negative nine zero zero one and two these are again the entries of the row echelon form of the same linear system under the Gaussian elimination. And we have shown from last time, the using this, the result of the variables here, x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3, are 3, 1, and 2, respectively. Now, if we are to apply here the Gaussian elimination, or specifically the half of it, the backward phase, using this, row echelon form to reach a reduced row echelon form we should come up with the same result because if we will not come up with the same result for x sub 1 x sub 2 and x sub 3 using the gauss jordan elimination we have two uh, scenarios number one this process that we're going to do might be wrong or the gaussian elimination previously was also incorrect so to um, make use of the backward phase for this we are going to apply um, operations to our third row to make these entries first equal to zero because for um, Gauss Jordan elimination to happen, we need to come up with a reduced row echelon form. And the reduced row echelon form, as compared to the row echelon, has only one additional condition. All entries on the same column with the leading one would become zero. So we're talking about negative 5 and 2 to become 0, as well as this one here will also be 0. So let's apply these operations here. Let's multiply 5 to row 3 and add it to row 2 so that this would become 0. And that would be our new row 2. Let's also multiply negative 2 to the same row 3 and add it to row 1 for this to become 0. And that would be our new row 1. So let's have it here. We haven't touched the third row. So it's still like that. The second row will have this. 5 times 0 is 0 plus 0, 0. 5 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 1. 5 times 1 is positive 5 plus negative 5, 0. 5 times 2 is 10 plus negative 9, 1. Next. Negative 2 times uh, 0 is negative, uh, 0 rather, plus 1, 1. Negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is uh, negative 2 plus 2, 0. See, we have achieved this as our goal. Ne but we are not yet done. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, sorry, not here. 2, negative 4 plus 8, I have here 4. Next is to make this 0. So we are going to multiply negative 1. Sorry. Negative 1 to our row 2. And add it to row 1. To have a new row 1. To make this 0. And we will end with our reduced row echelon form already. 
So with that, let's have it here. We haven't touched the third row. So it's a 0, 0, 1, 2. Our second row is a 0, 1, 0, 1. And the first row will be this. Negative 1 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 1, now 0. Negative 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0, 0. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 4, 3. This is now a reduced row echelon form. And this ends the Gauss Jordan elimination. Sorry if, uh, again, this is a little bit shorter because if we talk about Gauss Jordan elimination, we should start with the first part, uh, the forward phase. But it was already covered by the previous video using Gauss Jordan elimination. Again, please check that out. So from here, we could come up with our equations already. This is x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to 3. See, we have the same result. This is x sub 2, your second variable, is equal to 1. We have the same result. And finally, this is x sub 3 equal to 2, the same result. This means that this process, our backward phase using the uh, Gaussian elimination, or the second half of it, results to the same values as we did Gaussian elimination in the separate video. These are the values for x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 for this video. Thank you for watching.